Howdy y'all. Welcome back. And today I have something a bit different. I feel like I say that every single time. But regardless of that, I'm talking about this, my Samsung Tab S4. And yes, I have made a video about this, but I wanted to go in a little bit deeper, specifically regarding one thing, and that is Samsung DeX. Now, I did mention that I started to use it a bit more, but since then, I really only used it occasionally because when you're using it locally on the tablet itself, and I'll pull it up here so you can see. Yes, it's useful, but it's just, everything is just very small. It feels kind of cramped because the screen is smaller than you would expect on something like a laptop. So, and because of that, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense unless there really is that one weird app that just doesn't want to work in landscape. And I, for whatever reason, can't be bothered to actually just pick up the tablet and rotate it myself which, you know, that does happen from time to time. It's just really not worth it. But recently I just happened to kind of figure out more on accident than anything. I was just testing some stuff because I happened to have a USB-C adapter to display, uh, display port, I believe. Anyway, uh, here we go. Now I have a USB-C hub on this monitor. This is not the one I usually use it on, but this really changed the way that I use this. Let's see. So now I'm just going to connect that one cable going in there. And on the hub itself, I have a power supply connected to it. So it keeps the tablet fed and I have a keeper connected to it. Although I rarely do uh, when I'm using it at work, I just use the keyboard that's built in to the cover. Anyway, so let me switch over to that input. And one of the cool things about deck specifically is that because it is running a kind of separate instance of you know its user interface it can set a different resolution different aspect ratio which is a really big key because one thing I'll show it, it already went into DeX but if I were to disable that you'll see that it just kicks in to the tablets aspect ratio and of course I could rotate it around but even if I do you have these big pillar boxes. Now, if you were just on a regular 16 by nine monitor, not an ultra wide, you would still see these pillar boxes. And then worst of all is if you open up something that is a 16 by nine piece of content, uh, let me just pull something up here. Even if you maximize it, you get the pillar boxes. And on top of that, you get letter boxing. So there's just a crap ton of wasted space. Anyway, let me, kill that and let me just rotate this back the way I wanted it and we'll start Dex up again and give that a second start and here we go it pulls up fully in the correct resolution the correct aspect ratio it's great love it okay one cool thing that I only recently realized is that if you scroll down you get a notification that you can use your tablet as a touchpad and maybe this was there all along and I just never happened to see it or pay attention to it. I tap on that. And I'm not sure if this is all something I can pick up on the B-cam, but it just puts a black screen with a white grid. And this lets you use the tablet as a touchpad. I've never used a touchpad this big. I don't know that a touchpad this big exists, you know, as a standalone unit, but having such a gigantic surface to be able to use as a, as a touchpad is so nice. Everything feels pretty intuitive. There's a couple little quirks here and there. Uh, for instance, if you want to drag a window, you have to tap and hold and then do whatever you're gonna do. But uh, let me go back here. That brings me to one of my biggest pet peeves about Samsung DeX, and I know that I've brought it up before. Multitasking, you can do it, you know, it's one of the things that you can do on this, but it is a pain in the ass to manage the windows. Here's what I'm talking about. In Windows, if you were to, you know, hit the left edge, the right edge, or even the top, what it'll do is snap your application to use that side or that portion of the screen. So if I were to hit the left, it would take up the entire left-hand side of the screen, hit the right, you know, vice versa. 
And then if I were to hit the top, it would maximize the screen. That one I could probably live without, honestly, uh, since there is just a button that you could tap. But still, uh, if I were to bring up another application, what I end up having to do, and it's such a pain in the ass, you have to manually go in and try to resize every window if you want to maximize your screen real estate. And it's such a pain that I rarely ever uh, am bothered to do it. But anyway, that's one big pet peeve. But let me go ahead and show you one of the other big annoyances about this is that some applications, and I would guess that this is something that the developers uh, put you know, on their end, but if I were to try to open up Hulu, I get a notification. Hulu cannot run in Dex. Uh, something about it is expecting a touchscreen, which, yeah, I mean, of course, it's expecting a touchscreen, but I know it works. And the reason that I know it works is if I get out of Dex, over here and open it from here. Let's say uh, I'm just going to put something on whatever it uh, recommends. <laughs> okay. Uh, not my usual content, but let's say that I start watching this. Once I let it start playing, if I kick into Dex, give it a second and minimize over here, you'll see Hulu. So I'll re enable the touchpad, go over to Hulu and Come on, boom, it's there, it works. If I click play, it plays, I can maximize it. Everything works using the touchpad, touchpad. And there's no issues with it. That way, that's why I know it works. That's why I know it's not an actual limitation. It's the something along the line, something that is preventing it from launching just for whatever reason, for an arbitrary reason. And this happens with other applications. One of the more you know, technical applications that I want to use in this sort of user interface is VNC Viewer. But I run into the same thing. Uh, that one I haven't tried to see if the workaround works, but it's just, it's just a pain in the ass. Please, Samsung, uh, apart from the snapping, that's probably my number one pick. Let me just force applications to just open, you know? Let me just ignore whatever uh, the developer is intending because if we rely on developers to all kind of get together and make sure that their applications work for this, you know that that's probably never going to happen. Um, so please just let me force it. <laughs> that's probably my second biggest request. Okay. That's really about it. I really love this for media consumption because that's the main thing that I use this for. Because now if I want to watch something on YouTube, I can just pop this into my secondary monitor at work, you know, whenever, uh, during lunch or something, and I'll have a big uh, display to view it on. So now I don't have to be constrained to having this propped up, you know, on the side of my screen, which is what I used to do. Now I have it connected to my monitor and I have a big window to view whatever I want to on. And it just really changed how I view stuff. Now I feel comfortable watching some uh, media that I used to wait to watch it on a bigger display, whether that be, uh, you know, movies or something. Um, not that I watch movies at work, you know, that's ridiculous. Uh, definitely only during lunch and stuff. <laughs> that's really about it. If you have any questions about the tablet, I'll name my biggest complaint is that this thing is still pretty speedy. I, I, it works beautifully for everything I want to do, except for the fact that it only has four gigabytes of RAM, I believe. That is the main limiting factor. I have become so spoiled as I'm sure some of you guys have with these newer devices, like for instance, this Samsung Note 10, uh, I believe has eight gigabytes of RAM. And that just, wow. With this, I can open up whatever amount of applications I can go back to one and it's still there. On the Tab S4, it's really noticeable when you're trying to web browse. If you have multiple uh, tabs open and another application, it will have to reload, redraw things. And it's just, man, it just feels like something that I haven't had to deal with on the PC world in years. So I wish I could just throw in a sticker around and call it a day, but that's not something that 
I don't think will ever be possible just because manufacturers like to cram everything in there. Even on laptops, they're starting to do this and just solder everything and make sure that we can't get into anything. But that's a story for another day. That's a whole different topic. If you have any questions about this, about decks, leave them down below. Uh, feel free to follow me on my socials. Sorry for the ramble. Other than that, you know, have a good day. See ya.